11 insane animal attacks. Number 11. An accident took place at the Cincinnati Zoo that ended in tragedy, though it could have been worse. A three-year-old boy crawled through a barrier and fell 12 feet into a gorilla enclosure in June of 2016 and was immediately accosted by Haram, a 17-year-old silverback gorilla. The gorilla dragged the boy around for about 10 minutes until the situation was deemed life-threatening and the unfortunate decision was made to shoot Haram. The decision was a tough one that is definitely unfair for the gorilla, who meant no harm to the child, but the boy was saved, averting an even greater potential tragedy. The whole thing was caught on tape and shared on social media, where a lot of people blamed the parents for not watching their child more closely. Number 10. Being careful and safe at the zoo should be a top priority of everyone attending. So many attacks have happened, especially recently, and you can never be too safe. This story is yet another sad account of how true this is. 20-year-old Maksud Khan fell into the National Zoological Park's tiger enclosure and was approached by VJ, a white tiger. The tiger apparently came up to the man and simply watched him for approximately 15 minutes. It was only when onlookers started throwing stones at the animal that it fatally attacked Maksud. The man's body was left in the enclosure for almost two hours. Witnesses say that it took 15 or 20 minutes for the zoo staff to arrive at the incident, a fact that has led to an investigation into why it took so long for the staff to respond. Number 9. 29-year-old special effects editor Catherine Chappell was killed by a female lion while on safari in South Africa. Catherine will be best remembered for working on Game of Thrones and was in South Africa to raise money for a charitable organization. She was in a car when the incident took place. According to the tour guide, she rolled her window down to take pictures. The lion then approached the vehicle and attacked her through the open window. Number 8. Leopard attacks are not something we have to worry about in the United States. It is a very different story in India, however, where leopards are indigenous. An estimated 12 to 14,000 leopards reside in India and you hear about and see footage of attacks on a regular basis. In early March 2016, a leopard entered a school and attacked three people before being tranquilized and taken to a wildlife park for treatment. A video also surfaced in April of 2016 of a leopard leaping from a hole in a roof and attacking nearby people. Number 7. There are often accidents when emboldened people feel too safe and comfortable with animals that are wild by nature. This was the case in 1994 when tourist Catherine Warburton was trying to get a good shot of a polar bear. She hopped two safety fences and went right up to the bear's cage. The bear promptly stuck its head through the bars of the cage and attacked her. Warburton was lucky though. She escaped with a broken leg and lacerations in an attack that could very easily have cost her her life. Number 6. African wild dogs are pack hunters known for their savage jaws. They were on display at Pittsburgh Zoo's Painted Dog Bush Camp in 2012. On the morning of November 4th of that same year, two-year-old Maddock Durkosh was sitting on a railing outside of the dog enclosure next to his mother. The young boy tumbled off of the railing and into the exhibit. Immediately, the infant was attacked by three dogs, who tragically took the boy's life. All but one of the dogs were shooed away by employees. The other dog would not leave the boy's body alone, so zoo workers were forced to kill the dog. Number 5. Don't piss these behemoths off. There are literally hundreds of videos of elephants attacking individuals, groups of humans, and humans driving vehicles on the internet. Some attacks are pretty hilarious and illustrate the point that you mess with elephants at your own risk. Others can be fatal, with elephants trampling humans to death. For the most part, elephants don't attack unprovoked and it is mostly an issue of humans getting in their way. So remember, if you are ever on safari and you run into elephants, observe them from a good distance. Number 4. 2012 saw a spike of animal attacks on humans. In February, a man was killed by Nyonga, a 10-year-old female white lion at the Paris Zoo Farm in South Africa. Joe Ramonitha had worked at the zoo for 40 years and had recently come out of retirement. Apparently, he wandered into an area where animals normally wouldn't be. Someone had accidentally left a gate open, and so Nyonga was waiting for the unsuspecting Ramonitha. Joe tried to run, and the lion, acting on instinct, chased the man down and bit him once in the neck. The zoo considered putting Nyonga down, but thanks to animal rights groups speaking out, they decided against it, and Nyonga lives to this day. 
Number three, Anthony Hensley worked for a company that used swans and dogs to keep geese away from properties on a De Plain, Illinois pond. He was out in the pond one day doing his job when two swans swam at his kayak, causing him to fall off the vessel. Hensley was wearing heavy clothing and boots at the time and died trying to swim back to the shore, with terrified witnesses looking on. The family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the company that employed Hensley and the suit is still making its way through the legal system. Number two, even professionals whose job it is to deal with wild animals are not immune to the inherent dangers. This was tragically true for Patricia Wyman. The 24-year-old caretaker was hired to watch over five adult wolves that had been in captivity their whole lives. She was a wolf lover and had earned a wildlife biology degree. For reasons that can only be speculated, she entered the wolves enclosure alone just days after she was hired. Perhaps she wanted to further familiarize herself with the gray wolves. Her corpse was found that afternoon by two employees employees with all of her clothing torn off and multiple bite wounds to her body. It is a horrible attack and an unfortunate reminder that no one is immune to wild animal attacks. Number 1. Tragedy struck in Zanesville, Ohio when Terry Thompson, the owner of the Muskingum County Animal Farm, freed his collection of exotic animals. After releasing the animals, Thompson ended his own life with a gunshot to the head. What followed was nothing short of a massacre. The freed animals were shot and killed by local police. The police were concerned with the safety of residents in a nearby town and felt they had no other choice. When it was all said and done, two grizzly bears, 18 tigers, 17 lions, six black bears, three mountain lions, and two monkeys lay dead. Thompson had appeared on The Rachel Ray Show in 2008 and had provided a lion cub to a photo shoot with Heidi Klum. He was also a Vietnam veteran who was heavily in debt and who had just been left by his wife. It is very possible that these circumstances, along with the fact that he may have suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder, led to his suicide. <laughs> 